Welcome to my fall 2023 home tour. I'm starting here with you outside on our porch. I will share my fall decorate video so you can watch the whole process of how I got it ready for fall. But let's head in. It should be nice and cozy inside of our 1980s Victorian farmhouse uh, with an English, French country style of decor. Okay, here we are in the foyer of our 1890s Queen Anne Victorian home. I recently made some changes in here and you'll probably notice from my last Decorate With Me video, looked a little different in here. Always changing things around. And I kept fall very subtle. I kind of redecorated everything. I started with quite a bang and really exploded all of the fall colors um, all throughout the house, the oranges, the reds, the yellows, and quickly realized that I get very anxious when I'm surrounded by extremely hot colors. So I had to cool it down. So I just added a little basket of pumpkins down here under my hutch. Some natural elements like this enormous panicle hydrangea limelight bloom. That's all dried and just beautiful. Over here, I actually just went and harvested some more hydrangeas from my flower beds and those will stay that color. I have a little fall hat hanging on my peg rail. Again, just simple nods to fall. Let's move into the living room. This room might also look a little different for those of you who've been following along with my channel for a while. I recently just kind of went in a different direction with my decor and I just love it. Definitely embracing more of an English country, French country um, decor aesthetic in here. It feels very cozy. But let's start over here in the tower because this is kind of a new area that I just recently set up. The table is from Facebook Marketplace and I got the chairs online. I will link as many things as I possibly can for you. I do have a ton of thrifted and found items in my home, but I also do shopping online as well. So I do have quite a few resource links for you. Don't forget to check down in the description under the video title in case you're not familiar with how all that works. But again, very simple nods to fall with just some pumpkins, some orange colored candles. This is kind of just a nice sitting area. Maybe one night I'll set up a romantic dinner for my husband and I and we can sit here and watch a movie or something.
wanted to tell you a little bit about this arrangement here because we have some stems. These oak leaf stems are from Hobby Lobby. But what I did to tone them down a little bit was spray paint them with a kind of a brown color. And that really did the trick to help cool them down some and make them look a little bit more um, aged. And then we have some dried hydrangea stems from my Limelight Hydrangeas. And then we do have another faux uh, hydrangea stem in there from Hobby Lobby. Above our TV, this is the fall arrangement that I did up here. This is probably the most fall that I have going on in the room right now. But like I said, I really tried to challenge myself to keep things a little more understated. So we have some real pumpkins with some real dried hydrangeas, some artificial hydrangeas, and some artificial um, echinacea. I think maybe those are, or Black Eyed Susans. Not exactly sure, but I love the color combo of the warm and the cool colors together. over here on our love seat I really added some color but I just think the play on pattern makes things feel cozy which this time of year we're all about cozy right and on my mantle again I went really really simple and just added a pumpkin with a ribbon tied around it and all of these items you see on here are thrifted Another thing I did to add some cozy was to add velvet ribbons and just ribbons in general on things. On our little tufted ottoman here, we have some uh, sunflowers and a cute little fall candle. corner we've got just a fall country sampler magazine a little thrifted pumpkin a pheasant coaster that was thrifted enjoying this video and you love home decor as much as I do I would invite you to subscribe today before you even leave this video because we are gonna be decorating for Christmas soon and I have so many wonderful ideas I'll also link below my Christmas videos from last year so you can start watching those because we are going a completely different direction this year and I've just been dreaming about it I cannot wait to share all of that with you guys. Okay, and over here we have our built-in bookshelves. And I just restyled these. And I really love how they turned out. I 
just loaded them up with all my thrifted and antique store treasures. All my favorite things, the blues, the browns, kind of that warm camel color. And I think those colors just play so beautifully together, especially for fall. So again, I don't really have anything quintessentially fall necessarily in my bookshelves other than maybe this transfer wear plate. But other than that, um, oh, I have some candles with some leaves on them. I do have these little arrangements that I made for the top of each side here. And that is a real pumpkin with some leaves. And I really like how those turned out. Okay, next I'm gonna take you into our formal dining room. This room also got a restyle. Again, just kind of cooled things down a bit. Added in just more neutrals. More greens, blues. We did the fireplace. Some of the pumpkins are real and some are not. Some have real stems, even though they're not real pumpkins. And the white hutch that's in the foyer now used to be right here, but I moved my baker's rack onto this wall. And I like that a lot better because Something magnificent is going right between these windows here soon. actually have the most fall decor over in this little corner in my baker's cabinet. This is where I put a lot of my faux foods, apples, corn, Kind of a fun, cozy little nook. Really serves no purpose other than just it's fun. <laughs> okay, let's head into the kitchen. have a very small little kitchen. 
but I still enjoy decorating it, so it hasn't stopped me. I have a little more fall going on in here. I wasn't quite as shy of the hot fall colors in here, quite as much as in the rest of the living spaces. So I kept a lot of the orange in this room. I love these dried orange gourds here. It's kind of the centerpiece of the kitchen. And then lately I've been finding copper at the thrift stores. And so that's been kind of fun to put some of those pieces out. Like this piece I found recently and this pot. I also found the scale recently. We have some pumpkins on there. So I actually brought the copper out just for fall, but I've been liking it so much, I think I'm going to leave it up year round. Another thing I did for fall was fill this little cabinet that my dad made me with muffins. I thought that kind of bake, baked good and display was very fall. Here we are heading into the laundry room. I'm actually not sure if I put any fall in here at all this year. Maybe just a candle. <laughs> then some dried hydrangeas. But I guess I didn't really feel the need to get too dressed up in here for fall. I'm sure I probably will do some things for Christmas, but Probably not too much. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you decorate your laundry room for all the seasons. We still have quite a ways to go until all of our leaves have totally turned. Maybe another week or two. Let's head into the breakfast room. And now that I'm looking at it, I think this room has the most fall touches of any room in the house, which is great because we probably spend probably a second most time in here, I would say, um, other than the living room. A lot of pumpkins, a lot of got the sunflowers going on in here. This is my room with the pops of yellow. I have baskets full of pumpkins on top of my hutch. Lots of fun fall things going on in here. Thrifted canisters with all 
nice fall foliage on them, some more gourds. Right, and our downstairs bathroom got some fall added to it. Neutral fall, I should say. Leaves. Pumpkin. Hello and welcome to my fall home tour 2022. I'm about to take you inside from the front porch here and show you around my 1800s Queen Anne Victorian home and how I have it styled and decorated for fall. Let's head on in. So this is what you see when you first enter my home. This would be the formal foyer. And by the, by the way, my name is Elizabeth. And if you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you decided to click on the video and see how I have my historic home decorated for fall. Most of my home decor is thrifted, found at flea markets, estate sales, and I love to take you guys along with me. So if that's the kind of content that you like to watch, I would love for you to subscribe today. Also, leave me a like if you enjoy this video and comment down below. Introduce yourself. Let me know if you have any questions. But let me take you in a little bit closer and kind of show you some of my fall decor close up. So right here next to my front door, I have this little shelf that was thrifted that I painted and put some twall transfers on from IOD. And then off of that is a basket loaded full of some beautiful pumpkins and greenery. Most of this greenery and the pumpkins were from Hobby Lobby this year. cute little bench that I thrifted. <laughs> Instead of me saying that I thrifted the whole video, you can just assume that pretty much everything in my home was thrifted and given a makeover. But 
Then over here is my entryway table that I found on Facebook Marketplace. It's nice to have this area to decorate. I tried to keep it somewhat neutral in here just so right when you walk in my home, it's not a blast of bright oranges and yellows. But I did add some creamy kind of these pumpkin colors here that a little bit more pastel. This wreath is gorgeous. That was also from Hobby Lobby last year. I will try and link as many things as I can down in the description box below to make it easy for you guys to find the things that you see that you really like. Just search down there for the links or go to my Amazon store. That will all be linked below and labeled so you know what you're clicking on. Now we can head into our living room. So in here, I added a lot more depth to my fall decor, a lot more deeper, richer fall tones. I think it pairs really nice with all the woodwork that we have. It's very warm and rich. So I'll just start over here with my hutch. I completely redid the hutch for fall. If you wanna watch me decorate this, I will leave that video linked. vintage in here, lots of thrifted items that got makeovers. It's pretty much all been gathered and picked. <laughs> And then this little maple looking tree here was just a boxwood faux tree. And I added some maple leaf picks in there. I think that was kind of a clever way to use those. Behind the sofa here, I have my vintage bassinet full of some cozy warm throws that we like to grab in the chilly fall mornings here in Michigan. Very cozy. So because my home is full of wood, it's kind of the perfect home to decorate for fall. It already has so much warmth and richness and character. 
I do like to go a little more rustic for fall. For some reason that just feels a little more cozy to me. I do enjoy the very rustic kind of weathered old world aged looking pieces. So for fall, I really like to play them up and bring in a lot of that. This is a little cabinet that I found at a flea market and I turned it into like a little console table by adding some feet and I had to rip off all the contact paper that was all over it. I think it's really cute. It looks like a $10 find. It's been a fun piece to use. It's full of storage. It's nice and skinny. So it fit perfectly right there next to my fireplace. I kept the fireplace mantle pretty, pretty simple. Just added in these magnolia leaves from Hobby Lobby that I got last year. I found this guy at a yard sale, a neighborhood yard sale, a few weeks ago, and he's perfect. Pheasants and fall just go together. And it feels so cozy in here with all the candles going. And above my TV, we just have a collection of amber bottles. And over on this side of the fireplace, I have a drying rack that I got at a yard sale and I stained it just to make it look a little bit more aged and old. And then I popped some dried gourds on top. I love these for fall, so if you come across them, they are awesome. All right, and then over at the far end of the living room, we have the two bookshelves. And I added some pumpkins, some flameless candles over here, a thrifted painting that I found recently. Perfect for fall. absolutely love these hydrangeas from Hobby Lobby. They're the perfect color. 
They look aged. They also look very realistic. So I just have them in this pickle jar. I would say, say my decor style is like European farmhouse, French country, vintage. Very old world. I love European influences in my decor, but I really just love weathered, old world, aged. I just think those things have such a story, so much character. And with two little kids, it's nice when I purchase things and bring them into the home that they're already banged up and rough looking that it doesn't matter if they choose to bang on them as well. I don't have to worry quite as much. I think it's just the charm that I'm drawn to with weathered, chippy aged things. All right, so now we're going into the dining room. This is, I guess, technically our formal dining room. It probably gets the least amount of light of any room in the house, so we don't spend quite a lot of time in here, kind of only when we have company over. It's a nice big room, so we can fit a lot of people in here, so it's great for hosting. But for fall this year, I kept it pretty simple. I just wanted to bring in some burgundy colors to complement the greens that I already had in here. So that really warmed it up. I don't like to clutter my table up too much, so kept that really simple with just a cutting board centerpiece there and a flower arrangement. This year for Christmas, I'm going to put a Christmas tree in here. So I'm super excited about that. I think it's going to look so cozy. It's going to go in this corner here. So lots more videos to come, guys. Definitely subscribe today if you're enjoying this. We are getting to the good seasons for home decor, decorating. I mean, fall is definitely, definitely up there as one of my favorites. It's pretty much a tie with Christmas, I think. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know, do you like decorating for Christmas better or for fall? And have you started decorating for fall yet? There's lots of arches in our home, which is really pretty. That definitely reminds me of like a European influence. So yeah, this room has been really fun to decorate for fall this year. Here's my fireplace garland. So pretty much all my 
Faux florals come from Hobby Lobby. Usually they just have such a beautiful selection and they're always a great price. So this ivy garland here was in their like foliage section, not with the fall stuff, but I thought that it had a lot of that really pretty burgundy color in it. So I thought that'd be pretty. And over here on my buffet, again, I kept it really simple and I just stacked up some faux pumpkins. I'll link these down below for you guys. I really like them. I think faux pumpkins are a staple that you can invest in and they're timeless. So you can bring them out year after year after year. They never go out of style. And here, since this is a faux fireplace, Beyond the screen, I just thought I would add some crocs and put some gourds and things in there kind of to make it look like harvest time. And over here on my little shelf and peg rail that I kind of fixed together with two separate thrifted pieces, I put my um, really old pitcher collection. They're stained, lots of crazing, so beautiful. I really wanted to find a place for them where they could really be on display. And in this china cabinet, that is a family heirloom that I got from my mom. I have my milk glass and jadeite collection. And then up top, I really filled it up with fall decor. Lots of fun stuff up there. Lots of dried florals, some pumpkins. So that is our dining room. By the way, if you would like to see more behind the scenes things of what I'm doing around the house, little DIY projects, decorating, thrift hauls, thrifting, all that kind of stuff, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Old Maple Home. Let's head into the kitchen. So right off the bat here, we've got some fall with my little pegboard here and some dried Indian corn, some garlic in that little basket. and bright in here. These big windows are definitely my favorite, favorite part about the kitchen.
I think this little corner is my favorite. I love this little wire basket here. We use these dishes almost every day, so it's just handy to be able to grab them. Some dried fall foliage here from Hobby Lobby. I think my favorite are the brown wheat stems. I used those all over the house this year. And I added some of that up here. Some pumpkins. Pumpkin up there. Let me just have a little bit of fall right behind the door here on this peg rail with some more Indian corn and hanging basket. All right, so let's head into the laundry room. Another really bright room. So for fall decor in here, I just used these really pretty neutral leaves from Hobby Lobby and then that blue hydrangea and those are from Amazon and like I said, I'll link those for you if you are looking. Popped some pumpkins in these clear jars. A little hard to film in here just because there are windows all around. I just recently added all the blue in here and I'm giving it a little bit more of a French laundry room makeover. I've got a few ideas for some more things I want to do in here, but for now, just kind of moving some decor around, shopping my house. I'm liking a little bit of change. I'm always trying to sneak blue in <laughs> anytime I can. I just recently found this at an antique store and this has kind of been my, my muse for the changes that I want to make here. This old like advertisement print, Paris 1845, love that. All right. We've got a couple more rooms to visit on the first floor and then I'm going to try and take you upstairs to some of the bedrooms because I also added some fall up there. So this is kind of like our breakfast room slash craft room. We use this room a lot because it's right off the kitchen. It's nice and bright. I added quite a bit of fall in here because this cabinet is newer and it's been really fun to decorate. Pumpkins, gourds, squash, <laughs> a basket full of leaves. 
Have you guys noticed how squeaky these floors are? <laughs> it's an old home for you. You can't walk around without alerting everybody where you are. So this is just a really, really fun piece. Got a huge makeover, so if you want to see the before and how I went about transforming it, I'll go ahead and link that video for you. Facebook Marketplace find for the win. But I love these wheatgrass stacks, and I recently picked those up at TJ Maxx. And that's about all the fall that I have in here. It's pretty much just concentrated over in that area by the hutch. This is where I keep all my crafting supplies. There's the living room. I always love this view. You can really see all the wood beams on the ceiling. And all the arches. The craftsmanship that went into these old homes is just superb. And you just don't find, don't find it that way anymore, sadly. That's why we need to treasure these old homes and take good care of them and not strip out all the character. Keep as much of it as you can, because that's what makes them special. So here is our downstairs bathroom. Creaky floors. I didn't put too much fall in here, just because I think it's a little silly to load a bathroom up with fall decor, but I did add some pumpkins. I had these green ones left over and I thought they went well in here without the green. Really cute little bathroom. Nice and bright. I think if I do wallpaper in my home, it might be this room. It's the one that I would like to try it in first because it's nice and little and very bright. Okay, and here is the last room of this fall home decor tour. And this is our master bedroom. I obviously didn't go too overboard with fall decor in here, but I did add these kind of, um, oh, peachy, burnt kind of peachy colored pillows, this cranberry throw, those vintage botanical prints. So I pretty much just brought in fall through some color, warming it up. And also by adding these 
luxurious velvet curtains from Nice Town Curtains. I love these curtains. They are black out. They are absolutely stunningly beautiful. And they add so much warmth and coziness for fall. I'll have these linked below for you guys with a very gratuitous discount code if you are looking for some beautiful curtains for your home. You can get them customized to whatever length that you want. And you can also choose your own heading. They have a lot of options. Amazing company for curtains. So go check out Nice Town Curtains. Okay, over here I did add this little pillow. A little more orange than what I have in the rest of the room, but doesn't bother me too much. And that really pretty print with beautiful fall colors in it. All right guys, so that completes my fall 2022 home tour. If you liked the video and got some inspiration from it, um, please go ahead and like the video down below and leave me a comment. I'll be in there chatting with you guys. And also go ahead and subscribe because there's lots more to come, especially with Christmas around the corner. We'll be doing lots of Christmas decorates and Christmas home tours. I can't wait, I'm super excited. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.